So the role of businesses in the agri-food sector should be stimulated and enabled to create scalable uh, solutions. And here, I'd like to highlight a, a World Economic Forum initiative in this regard, the World Economic uh, Forum Food uh, Innovation Hubs. And these hubs in Africa, in Asia, in South America and in Europe uh, will allow uh, businesses to connect regional stakeholders to skill innovations, because this is key, uh, skill innovations that can address food systems, challenge, food systems challenges. And here, uh, I'm particularly proud to announce that the Netherlands will host the Global Coordinating Secretariat of the World Economic Forum Food Innovation Hubs, which will connect all other food innovation hubs. And I believe this is important because it will be facilitating to create uh, the partnerships we need. I think he's just aiming for a nice little position there once his days are numbered here in Holland. And uh, well, people like the Dutch farmers and the, in general, the Dutch people are a victim of, of his policies. And uh, and this this story that you just saw of that farmer who bursted out into tears asking when he was being asked whether he could pass on his farm to his kids, he's not the only one. Just this morning, I saw an uh, obituary of another farmer who has committed suicide because there are a lot of farmers who are committing suicides in, in the Netherlands, about 20 to 30 a year, which is a huge overrepresentation of the uh, of this particular sector, of course, and that's because these people are completely desperate as a result of the the criminal policies of our government and and this this man who committed suicide just today was only or yesterday was only 25 years old so that's what we're dealing with you know we're dealing with a government doesn't give a damn about its people doesn't give a damn about human lives doesn't give a damn about the food supply the only thing they care about is their own power and money and that's what you see in, in full force here well, what's shocking about what you've just said is that it, we're just a couple of weeks after an election uh, that you uh, reported on on this show in which it appeared that the Dutch farmers had won a tremendous victory in regional elections, but that determined uh, the composition of the upper house of the Dutch parliament. So uh, are they sending us the message that, in fact, elections are entirely irrelevant now and that the permanent, uh, whoever it is that Mark Rutte thinks is more important than the Dutch people, these people are permanently powerful and elections don't impact on that?